they all work, but you really need to know which one's going to work best for you, which one resonates best with you. Hey everybody, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm Amy Lee Foster, super happy you joined me. Today I want to talk about the number one most important thing you have to do if you're trying to manifest anything. The secret is feeling. Feeling is the key. Feeling is the number one key. Uh, so you want to live in a state of already having whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. Um, you can't stop, keep thinking about how you want it, how you are dreaming of it, how you don't have it. You need to live in a state of already having it or else you're not going to be able to manifest it. All manifestation techniques are basically designed to get you to that state. So be it scripting, which I always recommend. It works very, very well for me. Two cups, which is amazing for me also. It's actually so good that I only use it for really big things that I kind of have a mental block around achieving. Um, five by 55s, uh, affirmations, vision boards, they all are trying to get you into that state of feeling that satisfaction of already having what you're trying to achieve. So once you feel the feeling, that high vibration um, of already having what you're trying, what you're looking for, that you feel that like ecstatic excitement. You know what I'm talking about, like when you're really looking forward to something, or when you like when you finish this giant goal that you've been working for for a long time. So that's kind of the feeling that you're trying to to hone in on, and that's why scripting works so well for me. I like to sit down and really imagine very detailed how I feel in that situation after the wish is fulfilled. So let's just say we're trying to manifest a specific person, right? So what do we do? We start thinking about the end game, right? So you want to get married to this person, spend your life with them, you really love them. Then you would start thinking about maybe walking down the aisle, maybe thinking about your honeymoon, thinking about uh, the feel of a ring on your finger, looking down and seeing the ring on your finger, maybe how it feels while it's there, thinking of yourself on your honeymoon with your um, significant other, specific person, holding their hand, having romantic outings, maybe think about your children together. You really wanna get that super positive, high love, ecstatic, excited vibration. So once you have that feeling inside, you really want to take a minute and be grateful. So think about how wonderful it all is, how grateful you are. Thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me this. And then as you go about your day, you kind of want to just keep those positive feelings going in your, in your heart really important is to not constantly think about what you don't have and what you want to manifest because then you're constantly attaching lack to it so you need to live in the state of already having not in the state of oh i can't wait till i have or oh i really want this to happen or oh i'm trying to manifest this you already have it and if you don't live in that state then you're living in a state of lack I truly believe that this is a huge part of raising your vibration, is just feeling that incredibly positive feeling of already having what you've wanted to manifest into your life. Um, and we all know that once you're in a higher vibration, things just start to flow to you. Super important is also not to get bogged down in how is this going to happen, right? So like, how am I going to make a million dollars when I'm only making minimum wage, right? Or how am I going to get my specific person, or how am I going to marry my specific person when they're not even talking to me at this point? Neville says, I'm actually gonna read it because I have written down right here, but he says, the acceptance of the end wills the means. Assume the feeling of your, assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled and your dimensionally greater self will determine the means. So 
we don't need to be concerned about the details of how we're actually going to get what we're trying to manifest. We just need to know that we are going to arrive at the desired state. Basically, it's a foregone conclusion. It's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. It has already happened. You're just waiting for your external reality to catch up with your inner reality. I like to picture it as like a combination of luck, right? So I'm the center with the numbers and the uh, I'm the center with the dial pointer. This is my internal reality. And I'm just trying to dial, turn, turn, turn until I reach the desired reality. And it always comes to pass. So let me know if you have any questions. If you like what I have to talk about, please, please, please subscribe. And I'll definitely see you in a few days with another video. Have a great day.